So hello guys welcome back with another video of Salesforce Geek channel and in this video I am going to let you know how you can use subflow in your Salesforce flows. So basically what are subflows? Let's say you have a task uh, which you need to perform in a lot of flows. Let's say you have 4 to 5 flows and you need a piece of code or you can say piece of work which need to be performed by all the flows. So instead of creating uh, that step again and again in all flows, you can create a subflow and use your subflow to all the flows. This will save your time and also help you to build a very simplified flow. So in this video we are going to see how you can use it and what kind of scenarios you can use or how you can pass values from main flow to your subflow, right? So without any delay, let's get started. So first of all, we need to create a new flow. So I am going to create a screen flow. Uh, basically, I'm going to create a basic screen where the user provide the input to create contact. And while creating contact, I am going to use uh, another subflow uh, which display error uh, that we are getting while creating records. Let's say we forgot the last name. So it will display automatically like, like okay, the user did not put a uh, last name in your record, right? Uh, let's say the user provide a invalid email, right? So that also should be displayed over the error message. I am going to create this error handling flow as a subflow and then I am going to use in the main flow. So first of all let's create a screen flow which is our main flow and click on this plus button. Let's select screen and drag and drop a name component. Drag and drop a email component and let's also a phone number. So these are the three components which I am using in this video so that our video will be precise and short. So now let's provide the screen name. Let's say screen one. Now to the name component, let's say name. To the email, let's say email. And to the phone, let's say phone. Right? So my first screen is ready. Now what I need to do is click on done. After that, I need to use a create record element. So let's click on create records, type create contact. And how many records to create? Uh, we are going to create a single record. And how to set the record fields? We are using sec we are going to use second option because we have limited fields that we are getting from the user and in the object type contact. Select contact in the field, let's say name. So I need to use first name. Now add field, let's say name. So select last name, email, and phone. Now uh, in the value, you need to provide, let's say name dot first name, name dot, last name, email dot value and similarly for phone dot value. Now what you need to do is click on done. And now as you can see, our main flow is ready. Now simply we need to uh, add one more flow basically to handle errors. So let's save this flow. Create contact by user input. Click save. Now move back to the flows and click another new flow. Click on screen flow, click create because we are going to display an error message uh, responding to the different errors. Now drag it, select a screen over there. Label it as error screen. And drag and drop our display text. Let's say error message okay i need to remove the space or either use underscore 
now in the message body you can provide a variable which is dynamic and coming from the main flow so what you need to do is in, click on insert a resource click on new resource select a variable provide a name let's say message or you can say error message in the data type you need to type text and now here is the concept which you need to get whenever you need some value from your main flow you need to create a variable in your subflow and mark it as available for input by marking it available for input means this variable is now ready to get accept values from the external resource right so let's say i have one uh, main flow i have one subflow i need to pass value from main flow to subflow so you can pass with the help of available for input functionality of your variable right so let's say right now i am creating this message with select this option available for input then i can assign this variable by the value which i want to display on the subflow right i hope this is clear and let's click on done again click on done and save it let's say error handling click on save activate it make sure uh, you activate your subflow if you want to uh, use this subflow in your main flow because it is necessary otherwise your uh, subflow is not displayed over your main flow so now move back to the main flow and refresh your screen after that what you need to do is click on your create contact element and select add fault path because whenever we get error we need to display the message right and in this click on the plus button and here you need to select subflow so how you can call subflow uh, in your main flow by using the subflow action in your flow builder now here you can see referenced flow so here you need to type handle so here you can see the error handling flow we created uh, to display error right select it provide the label as show error and now here you can see this is the variable we created as available for input right and that's where you need to click on this toggle and now here you can provide the dynamic message so if you want to provide a dynamic message for the uh, respective errors what you can do is click on the variable and here you need to select flow go to global variables and type fault message so flow is a global variable and if you uh, go to the field which is a fault message by dot notation you will get the dynamic error which you are getting while creating contact or any other record right simply click on done save your flow and let's click on debug let's try it debug and understand how our subflow will work according to the different conditions click on run let's provide name shubham bharadwaj sb at the rate mail dot com phone number is some random click next now where you can see record is created right now let's say i am going to make the changes in the input right click on change input click run and this time i did not provide the last name so let's say test provide email as we added mail.com phone number is some random click next so now you can see you will get the display message uh, which, which we use in our subflow right so you can see this error occurred when the flow tried to create records required field missing and that is last name uh, that's how you can use display message to provide dynamic uh, values and let's click on finish and now uh, click on change input i'm going to let you know how this is dynamic let's say i provide the name this time right so let's say test and this time i am going to provide a invalid email address 
let's say sb at the rate in dot so this is a invalid uh, email address right if i click on phone and click on next now this time you can see this error occurred when the flow tried to create records invalid email address which is the value and simply you can see this is also dynamic and we are not using like two different uh, screen to display the message right we can use this subflow into other flows we just need to do pass the message from our main flow to subflow and i hope this is clear to you and that's it for today's video i hope you like this video if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe this channel for more such videos thank you so much i will see you in another video